The football was profitable yesterday. The NBA was not. Hopefully this Boston Celtics hoodie can bring us some good luck. It is now a 164-141-10 run with free plays here on the Power 5. Talking MLB and NBA today. As a reminder, you can always comment down below with your thoughts on my selections. Also, if you'd be so kind to hit that thumbs up, your support is always greatly appreciated. Here we go. Number one, I'm going to give you a bet to win the World Series. Nothing for me. Uh, specifically on Game 1 for a player prop on Game 1. Be sure to check out the Morning Wager with myself and Mark Zinno, uh, also available here on the Wager Talk YouTube channel. But as far as the series itself is concerned, I like the Yankees, plus 105. No hard feelings at all towards the pinstripes after eliminating my Guardians in the ALCS. This is a great team, the Yankees, with superstars that deliver in the clutch. At least they did against the guards. The Yankees also have the starting pitching edge in this series almost by default. The uh, You look at the Dodgers rotation. They do not have a fourth starter. Their third starter is Walker Bueller, who stinks. Reports are coming out that the team is concerned about Jack Flaherty's decreased velocity. Yamamoto has a 5.11 ERA and a 4.71 FIP in three postseason starts. So that's not very good from the LA perspective uh, that really I don't think they can trust any starter coming into the World Series. Also, you have to consider, as was the case with Cleveland going against the Yankees, the Dodgers' bullpen has to be gassed by this point, having already pitched 57 innings. Conversely, Yankees relievers have gone just 38 and two-thirds innings while holding opposing hitters to a 206 batting average. Now, in the NLCS, the Dodgers were able to overcome their questionable pitching by going a ridiculous 22 of 72, that's 306, with runners in scoring position. They averaged 7.7 runs per game against the Mets, including 9.25 in the four wins. Those numbers simply cannot and will not be repeated. Yankees win their 28th World Series. Duh, Yankees. So, all right, before I move to the NBA, wanted to let you know that I have a college football winner available for Friday at my page, wt.buzz slash bp. As you know, I am still numero uno, number one in college football this season at Wager Talk, 68.8% overall. That includes a white hot 12 and 2, my last 14 selections. Hurry and get that Friday winner now. Also, a programming note don't forget to check out tomorrow's edition of the Power Five, which will be all college football. That should be available by Friday evening. Now, let's talk some NBA. I've got four, count them, four plays for you today, including both games of the doubleheader on ESPN. Pacers-Knicks over 227 is where we'll start. This is the first game of the ESPN doubleheader. Uh, the Knicks have to wonder what hit them on opening night, right? Celtics tied an NBA record with 29 made threes in a 132-109 beatdown. You gotta assume the Knicks won't be under that kind of fire tonight. Again, as they look to avenge last year's second-round playoff exit at the hands of the Pacers. However, Indiana's a team that can score with the best of them put up 66 in the second half in their first game, admittedly against the Pistons, and finished with 115 points in that game, did Indiana, despite only shooting 29% from three. The Pacers, in last year's playoff series against the Knicks, scored 116 or more in six of the seven games. The Knicks scored 121 or more in three of the four home games. I assume the Knicks are going to be better offensively tonight than they were versus Boston. I think the Pacers shoot the three better than they did against Detroit. I don't think this number's high enough, and the market seems to agree, again, over 227. Uh, play number three on the show today, Pistons-Cavs, under 229. Cleveland looked unstoppable offensively in its season opener, I'll give you that. Blowing out the Raptors, 136-106. to Cavs shoot a blistering 65% on two-point attempts, but you have to expect some regression tonight, right? They're not facing the Raptors again, now they're facing the Pistons, but... Teams that win their season opener by 15 or more points have gone under in their second game 32 of the last 47 times. A trend to file away for later. I know, Again, I know it's the Pistons the Cavs are facing tonight, but Detroit wasn't that bad defensively against Indiana, at least in the first half when they held the Pacers to 49 points. There was a trademark fourth quarter meltdown from the Pistons there. Uh, but again, Indiana was held to 29% from three in that game. This is a big game for the Pistons head coach, J.B. Bickerstaff, who the Cavs fired last spring. Also, the Pistons should be motivated by the fact they've lost nine straight to the Cavs. 
Bickerstaff should have an idea how to defend his former team. My only concern with Detroit, though, is their shooting. Just 27% from three in the opener. So an under there. Another under. Warriors Jazz. Under 233. Yes, Golden State ended up scoring 140 against Portland in their season opener. Despite just a 21-point first quarter, uh, the Warriors shot 51% overall from the floor, 41% from three. But not only do I not think they, can ma- they can't match those numbers uh, tonight, the total is more than 10 points higher for tonight's game than it was uh, in the opener against the Bla- Blazers. So I'm showing value tonight on the under. The same trend I discussed in the Cleveland breakdown also applies here. We have a Golden State team off a win by 15 or more. Uh, even though they came up short against Memphis in the season opener, the Jazz had a big second half, 74 points. I don't see him replicating that here. Perimeter defense is a concern for Utah, but I don't have concerns about Golden State's defense. I think the Warriors' defense ensures this one stays under an inflated total, an inflated number, 233. All right, let's close it out with a play on the second game of the ESPN doubleheader, which is Suns at Lakers, 10-10 Eastern. Got to go Suns money line here, plus 105. Multiple times this week here on the Power 5, I've talked about how much I like the Suns to go over their season win total of 47 and a half. Played them on the money line in the season opener, which worked out. They outlast the Clippers in overtime. Meanwhile, tried fading the Lakers in their season opener. That did not work out. But let's stick to our pro Suns, anti-Lakers mindsets here. Love how all five Suns starters finished in double figures against the Clippers. Remember, the trio of Durant, Booker, and Beal only played in 41 games together last season. We will see them take more threes under Mike Budenholzer, like I talked about earlier in the week. Give me the better team at the plus price. Let's go ahead now and recap the Power 5 for Friday. Number 1, Yankees to win the World Series, plus 105. Number 2, Pacers-Knicks, over 227. Number 3, Pistons-Cavs, under 229. Number 4, Warriors-Jazz, under 233. And number 5, Suns Moneyline, plus 105 against the Lakers. Again, Feel free to comment down below with your thoughts and questions. Let me know what you are betting on Friday. Sorry I've got nothing for you on Boise State UNLV. I just can't get to the window on that game. I'll be excited to watch it. But as I talked about earlier, I do have a Friday college football play available for sale at wagertalk.com right now. Not to mention three CFB plays locked and loaded for Saturday. Again, number one in CFB this season at wagertalk, 68.8%, including a white-hot 12-2 12-2 and two run. And the winning doesn't stop there because in NFL, I've got a 5% max bet set for Sunday. So far, I've released just two 5% plays this entire football season. One was in college, Texas Tech over Arizona State last month. And the lone NFL max bet to this point was the Broncos crushing the Raiders three weeks ago. So I'm very excited about this 5% play we've got ready for Sunday. You may want to consider a three-day all-access pass for just $69. That way you get all of my college football, the 5% NFL max bet, plus any more NFL, soccer, NBA, MLB, anything else I choose to release over the weekend. And if you want to lock in long-term, you can get the next uh, 30 days, everything, all sports, including college hoops when that starts, for just over $8 per day. That deal is available on my page as well. One more time, that's wt.buzz slash BP. And that will do it for Friday's edition of the Power Five. Smash that like button if you enjoyed it. Also, make sure you're subscribed to the Wage Talk YouTube channel. And until next time, guys, uh, let's cash some tickets.